day three of bar prep. Here comes Eloise. There she is. And she's gone. <laughs> and I'm sitting down on my laptop right now, ready to start my day. Let's see what I have assigned today. So I thought that I had evidence today, but turns out evidence actually starts tomorrow according to this schedule that they have online. <laughs> but on Friday, I have my graduation. So I think I'm just gonna get ahead and start the first evidence today because these two videos I just checked um, that are assigned for today are only a total of about two hours long. So I think I can start the evidence assignment that is for tomorrow, today, so that I can just have Friday off for my graduation. Also today I have a haircut appointment because I wanted to get my hair cut before my graduation. So I have that today at 3.15. So I'm going to work through the hour lunch that they usually have you take on these videos and hopefully I'll have the majority of what I have to do done before I have to leave for my hair appointment but if I don't get it all done I'll just come back and finish it then but yeah that's what's happening today there's this really cool looking bird outside my window right now oh it just flew away so first I'm watching this Barbie Essentials video information and of course story. that they assigned to me. I'm just assuming it's gonna be like an overview of how to study for the bar. Um, that's the vibe I'm getting, but we will see. It's about 45 minutes long. It's actually 46 minutes long to be exact. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm watching right now. Exciting stuff. Here we go. It is almost 12 o'clock now and I'm going to eat lunch, but I'm printing out an evidence overview that I have to read before the actual lecture. It gives you like a half an hour on the assignment page to read through this. So I'm going to read through this while I eat lunch at my desk and then I'll get into the evidence lectures. So I had to watch two videos prior to this, the Barbary Essential video and the strategies for a success video. The Barbary Essentials basically just went over how the Barbary course works, all the books that you have, their purpose, um, how you go through the lectures and what materials you use for the lectures and stuff like that, technical stuff about how the course works and about the bar exam itself. And then the strategies for success on the MBE basically went through each topic that's going to be on the MBE and told you like how many questions will be on each section and which topics you should focus on, which topics are harder than others and that students typically do poorly on and generally tips on how to effectively deal with the timing issues with taking the MBE portion. So yeah i thought that was helpful um but now i'm gonna eat lunch and look over this and prepare for the evidence lecture eloise is sleeping on her bed next to me cutie i've been putting laundry in as i'm working as well so that's a perk of doing this at home so i can get laundry done as well while i'm studying and it gives me a reason to like get up and take a mini three minute break to change the laundry. Today for lunch, I'm just gonna eat some leftover Chinese food. Very healthy. <laughs> um, I got Kung Pao shrimp. So that's what I'll be eating in case you were interested. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the microwave to heat it up. I always heat my food up in the microwave like insanely hot. 
I like it to basically be boiling when I open that door to take it out of the microwave. Just makes it the best, you know? Brings out all the flavors. I am all done finished reading the evidence overview right here. Um, I've put it in my binder labeled evidence, as you can see. <laughs> and um, so I finished reading that. Now I'm going to watch the lecture video. I've printed out my lecture handout, which you use as you go along with the lecture. I'm not gonna be able to get through this whole lecture before I go to my haircut appointment. So I'm gonna have to cut it short and then go to my hair appointment, but I'll come back and finish it once my hair is cut. I don't know how many inches to get cut off. I think I wanna get like this much. I like when it sits like below my shoulder like that. So, <laughs> Um, we'll see. I need to look at old pictures of how short I got it cut last time um, so I don't make any regretful decisions. I just want to get it cut as short as I had it last time. So my hair grows pretty fast, so I'm not too attached to it. I used to be super sad every time I got a haircut because I was so attached to my hair. It used to be even longer than this, but every time I would get my hair cut, I would be so sad. <laughs> But then I realized it grows back super fast. And even if I get it cut super short, it will grow back eventually. So it's not as traumatizing as it used to be. Although every time I go to get my hair cut, no matter who does it, I always have to like come home and style it myself because I'm so, I am picky about that. <laughs> so there's a certain way I like to part it, you know, a certain way I like to style it. And no matter what, I always have to come home and do that myself. So anyway, tangent over, I'm going to do my lecture now. Alright, it is time for me to go to get my haircut now. It's about 2.50, my hair appointment is at 3.15, so let's get going. Oh, he's is in such a peaceful sleep. He's sleeping. Oh, he looks so cute. As I'm driving to my haircut appointment, I thought I would just give you guys an overall update on how I feel about bar prep so far. Um, I'm only three days in, but so far, at first with that whole MBE immersion thing, that kind of freaked me out because you just quickly go through each of the major topics and it's kind of like a lot all at once and it makes you feel like you don't know anything and like you're an idiot. <laughs> So after that, I was a little bit disheartened and I was like, wow, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But then today when I got into the evidence lecture, I had a bit of a sigh of relief because it is more like what I was expecting it to be. And the lectures are very helpful and thorough and they hit all the points that you need to know. So I'm feeling better about it now that I've started the evidence lectures. So yeah, that's where I'm at with this whole bar prep thing. I'm back from my haircut now. This is my hair. She took about three inches off and then I came home and I curled it myself because like I told you earlier, I like to style it myself. But yeah, pretty happy with that. I feel lighter and more free. 
but right now I am just folding up some laundry to put away and then I'm gonna decide what to do for dinner because it's like 5 30 right now and um yeah I'm gonna have to eat soon but first I'm gonna fold this laundry exciting stuff isn't it exciting Eloise okay okay I'm sitting down at my desk now to do the rest of my evidence lecture. I remembered that yesterday my mom actually brought meatballs for us to eat. So I have a ton of meatballs in my fridge now. So we're gonna have that tonight. And I have some pasta on the stove I'm getting ready. Ben got home, he's taking a shower. So in the meantime, I'm gonna sit and watch my lecture. Right, Eloise? It is almost nine o'clock right now, and I'm sitting down on the couch editing my vlog from yesterday so I can upload it tonight. Ben doing his homework. I don't know what he's working on, but it looks like maybe math or physics. Teach myself calc. Calculus. And he has an episode of Cheers on TV. He's been on a Cheers kick lately. <laughs> what got you into watching Cheers? We need something light that I don't pay attention to. Okay. I had never seen an episode of Cheers in my life before this. You don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it. It's not as good as Friends. It's better, yeah, that's true. Not as good as friends, but it has some funny moments. But yeah, that is what's happening right now. Not much else going on in life, not much exciting. We also have a pumpkin spice candle going. Ben and I had an argument earlier about whether it was appropriate. Argument? That was a <laughs> It wasn't an argument. That was a very, but very polite have, conversation. We, we talked about whether it was appropriate to have a pumpkin spice candle lit at this time of year, which is spring. I like pumpkin spice candles lit all year long. I think because that's the smell of my home, like that I grew up with. That's the scent of the candle my mom burns all the time. So it smells like home to me. It doesn't smell like fall or anything special. It just smells cozy. So I like to have it lit at all times of the year, even in the summer. And I guess Ben is fine with it now too because it's lit. It's lit. It's litty lit, as the kids say these days. Nobody says that to you. It's lit, bruh. <laughs> Ben's had enough of my bull crap. He's trying to study. So I'm gonna stop now and continue editing my blog.